Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I've got a stout to review for you. And it's a biggie and it's from Sri Lanka and it's from the Lion Brewery. And it is simply their stout with the awesome picture of a lion on the front of it. This bad boy is coming in at 8.8% 8 .8 ABV. It says so right there. This is a big 625 milliliter bottle imported from Sri Lanka. This was kindly gifted to me. Uh, by one of Abby's uh, crewmates at um, LAS, North London Ambulance Service, uh, who's from Sri Lanka. So thank you very much for this. So yeah, Lion Stout, 8.8%. On the back there, there's Michael Jackson, very famous beer writer. Uh, he says this about this beer, soft, fresh, and delicious. Delicious, delicious. Top fermenting Lion Stout is bottle conditioned and it has an extraordinary chocolate mocha character. So that is what Michael Jackson said about this beer before he passed away, bless him. Contains malted barley, uh, brewed and bottled by Lion Brewery in Sri Lanka. As it Biagama in Sri Lanka. And it's imported by KBE Drinks of Kent. 8.8%, .8%, it's a big one. So let's get this Lion Stout out of its huge bottle into a glass and see what we're dealing with. Love the aroma straight off the bat. I'll give it an aggressive pour so you can build up a bit of a head. Oh yeah. Oh wow, okay. Wasn't expecting to build that much of a head, but that was an aggressive pour to be fair. Um, in the glass, to be honest, that looks spectacular. That is a huge head. We're talking a three finger tanned, coffee colored head that is in no rush to go anywhere it's quite tight quite foamy below that is let me hold it up to natural light there is no light that i can see coming through that that is a jet black stout jet black stout and that head is just starting to compact a little bit just starting to go down but it's not in a rush It, it looks the part. Let me see if I can get my snout in there. See if I can get an aroma through that head. Oh, wow. Now, I've heard very good things about this beer. And I've had this bottle knocking around for a little while. And you know, as soon as you start smelling a beer, you kind of wish you just cracked into it a little bit earlier. Oh. <sighs> Lovely. Vanilla. Chocolatey, dark chocolate. Definitely a dark fruit, like a sort of a, a slight sort of raisin, sultana. Touch of fig in there. Bit of brown sugar. Milky coffee. Dark chocolate. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It really does. And that head's just starting to dissipate a little bit now. I feel like it's just starting to open up a bit. You can see sort of carbonation chasing the head around there, but um, it's very gentle, as you'd expect from a big star like this. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. Oh, goodness. <sighs> wow, okay. There is a lot going on there. It's fruity. It's roasted malt strong. There's chocolate in there. There's coffee in there. There's a bit of bitterness on the back end. There's a bit of vanilla, there's a slight creaminess to it. Um, but it's all really balanced. It's all just kind of glides. There's not one particular thing that stands out and jumps in your face. It's a very gentle, it's elegant. I'm gonna use the word elegant. I don't think I've used the word elegant in a beer review before. Um, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. It does everything you would want a good big stout to do without 
punching your face off to do it. It doesn't need to. It's gentle, it's, it's tender, it's elegant. It kind of gradually builds its way through your palette and you get all the elements to it. Let me try to break it down. Creamy on arrival, quite thick in the mouth feel. Then you get a sweetness of fruit, that kind of fig, that raisin sultan, almost sort of fruit cakey vibe. There's the fruit. Then that fruit cake dies down. There's a little bit of a boozy kick, bit of vanilla, bit of sort of subtle brown sugar. And then towards the back end, it, all the roasted malts and the roasted bits become more pronounced. And there's chocolate and there's milky coffee. And there's a lovely, gentle, almost floral with it, bitterness at the back end. Um, this, I mean, look at the lacing on the glass. Um, this is a thing of beauty. <laughs> it really is. It's, I could say, it does... Again, I keep saying it. It does everything a good big stout would. You'd want a good big stout to do, but it does it gently. It 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 plays with you. It plays with your palate. It's not just a big bang. This is here. I am. You know, I'm a big roasted malt stout. And I've got big fruit up front or anything like that. It's just gentle. It it develops on your palate beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Carbonation is you know, very, very minimal, as you'd expect. Um, I'll tell you what, it does not drink like an 8.8. .8. No, no chance. No chance. That's another good sign of a good beer. This drinks more for me like a five. <laughs> a five and a half, six tops, six percent stout. It's actually really easy drinking. It's actually going down dangerously quick. I'm already looking at the bottle thinking, I've still got another half of it left. I could just chuck that in the glass. And then I'm thinking, it's 8.8. .8. I need to take it easy with it, really. Um, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. I can't fault it. I cannot fault it in any way. It's so smooth, slightly creamy, vanilla, fruit, sweetness of dark fruit, slight touch of brown sugar, lovely malt bill on it, really sort of briskety malt coming through, roasted malts. And here it comes at the back end then, it turns into a, a dark chocolate coffee filled roasted malt finish. Whereas before that, it's subtle sweetness, slight floral touch. And it just glides. It just glides down. This is one of the most balanced and beautifully made stouts I think I've ever had. And I'll tell you what, I had their lager as well. And I viewed it quite a long time ago, the Lion Lager. And I thought that was fantastic as well. Um, Sri Lanka have a, an incredible brewery there in line for me. The lager is superb and this stout is a thing of wonder. It's exceptional. Gen genuinely, it's exceptional. Mm. To make a stout that complex, that drinkable, with an 8.8% .8 ABV on it, I can't think of many examples. There's usually something that's like the, the outstanding overtaking element to it. This doesn't have that. This is just balanced. And it's always, I always use that word balanced, is always a sign of a good beer. I've drunk half of it. And like I say, that went down far too easily. Look at the lacing on the glass. Look at the quality of it. That is a truly exceptional stout. It really is. I recommend everyone tries to get their hand on that. If you like a good stout, 
try and get this bad boy. I think, I think, I mean, this was given to me, but I'm sure I've seen it on beersofeurope.com. Um, I will double check. And if it is, I will put the link to their website in the description notes below. Um, because I do recommend everyone tries to get their hands on this because this is spectacular. That is stout brewing at its highest, I think. I mean, without having done it, that, that's exceptional. It's complex, it's drinkable, it's delicious. Absolutely fantastic. Um, that's going to be the first 10 out of 10 that I've given a beer this year. Beer of the year, contender, early, lion, but they're stout. Wow, just wow. Um, have you tried this one? Let me know in the comments below what did you think of it. If you haven't, like I say, I'll put the link to Beers of Europe. I'm sure they sell it. Um, everyone needs to try this beer. That is exceptional. That's exceptional. That is brewing genius. Um, Lion Stout, 10 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I've really enjoyed doing it. I'm going to now enjoy the rest of this beer. Um, I hope you enjoyed it again. If you have, thumbs up. Till my next one, you take care.